We're heading into a new age of architecture and urban design, one where design and technology merge to make our built environment more flexible than ever. Today, we'll take you to the Dutch city of Delft to show you a building where flexibility has been built in from the beginning. So, yeah, Willem, we're here at the new Echo building, which is currently under construction at TU Delft. Can you tell us a bit about it? So, Echo is the new interfaculty educational facility for the TU Delft. It's a facility that houses seven new teaching rooms for different types of teaching, together with study spots and a restaurant. The building is going to be generating energy, and what's also exciting is that it's, it's on a new public area in the campus. So that's an important part also for the design, because it's really designed and meant to be activating this public area. Now you mentioned it's highly flexible, and that's what we'd really like to know more about today. So maybe you can show us some of the things about the building that make it so adaptable. Of course, let's go in and I'll show you around. Great! Wow, this space is so open and bright. Yeah, so what you see happening here is that this space is designed as if the public square is really continuing into the building. Also what you see is that there's two, these two very large educational spaces that are organized in the building actually. And to be able to position these very large educational rooms, we have to had to come up with a very flexible structural principle. So what we did is we came up with a, with a portal structure that allowed for very large spans and almost column-free lower levels. I mean, it's a very impressive space. Do you think you can show us one of the large teaching rooms? Then? Of course, let's go in. Yeah, so this is the largest lecture room. It can house 700 people. Wow. And what's really exciting about this room is that it can be split into three separate rooms. So into a 300 room, a 200 room, and another 200 room. Mm -hmm. And these rooms can be combined and configured in different configurations. You could also have a 400 room and a 500 room. To reconfigure the room, a system of flexible walls will be installed. Hidden in cavities at the top and bottom of the large auditorium, these walls can be moved into place along a rail in just 15 minutes. And with maximum sound insulation, there will be no disturbance between the lecture halls. This same feature is used in the second biggest teaching room, which can also be divided into two separate spaces to allow for flexibility in scheduling. On the top floor, it's still possible to see the structural element that allows for the building to have an almost column-free lower floor. These trusses span the entire width of the building and are situated every 30 metres along it. But this floor will also feature a highly flexible layout. The space where we're actually standing now also is going to be used for uh, faculty staff offices or PhD students for example. So it has to be very flexible office space. So all the walls that are going to be put here for the smaller compartmentation, they're going to be made out of a modular wall system because there's a likely chance that in the future this has to be shifted a little bit. Yeah. And when you use modular walls that's very easy to be done. Back on the ground floor, we can also get a sneak peek of another flexible element of the building, right under our feet. So throughout the whole building, we have the electrical systems and the air systems inside the floor. And if we combine that with a flexible computer floor system, then you get into a situation where you can easily reposition, depending on any layout needs, the location of floor ducts and electrical sockets. And this is a hugely important feature, of course, for a university that doesn't know if the layout of this room or that room or another room is still the going to be the same in a year or two or five or ten years' time. From its movable walls and mostly column-free spaces to its modular layout on the top floor and the adjustable flooring system, the new Echo building at TU Delft is designed not just for what students and teachers need today, but what they could also need in the future.